Welcome to the Thursday edition of the Spark Creativity Teacher Podcast, a podcast for English teachers in search of creative teaching strategies. Whether you're new to the show or a longtime listener, I'm so glad you're here for today's edition of Highly Recommended. This week, I want to make sure you know just how amazing the Google Translate app really is. Living here in Bratislava and traveling around Europe with our family, we're constantly confronted by languages we don't know. On street signs, parking signs, parking tickets, frozen pizza cooking instructions, directions for using new toys on Christmas morning, mail that lands in our box from who knows where, and so much more. Which is why we really couldn't do without our Google Translate app. We used to stare at the strange text and painstakingly attempt to type it into the app for translation. But then we discovered the camera feature. Did you know you can pick any two languages in the app, then take a picture of the first and instantly see it translated into the second? You can also speak into the app in one language and see your words typed out into another, or hold the app up to someone you want to understand and get their words translated. It's an incredible tool and one I use constantly in my everyday life. For your emerging bilingual or trilingual students, Google Translate can be a huge lifeline. They can quickly hold their app camera over handout instructions, printed writing prompts, or classroom posters and see the text in their own language. They can take a picture or screenshot and have the translation available for the rest of class. And of course, beyond the app, they can plug large sections of text into Google Translate online to help them better understand a podcast transcript, close reading passage, or news article. Google Translate can help your students keep up with your content and express the complexity of their ideas as their second or third language skills catch up with their thought processes. And that's why this week, I want to highly recommend you add it to your phone and get familiar with it. It doesn't take very long, and it could make all the difference to some of your students, and perhaps their parents come conference time, too. Thanks so much for joining me today to talk about a tiny app with a huge impact. Until next time, take care of yourself and stay creative. <music>